This video is going to show you how to place images at random positions in Phaser. And I've got some images here numbered 0 through 6, just some dots. And I'm preloading it by a for loop. For var i equals 0, i is less than 7, and this load image dot plus i, because the key that we need to load is just a string, and then images slash plus i plus dot png, and that will preload the images into Phaser's cache. Now let's place those on the stage, and we need to place six of them. For var i equals zero, i is less than seven. That will give us zero through six. And I'll go ahead and put them on the stage just at a zero position so you can see how we're doing it. var dot equals this add image dot and then we just add the i on there. And that will give us the key that we made up here, dot plus i. And there's all our dots up there at the top. Now, Phaser has a nice built-in math object that we can use here. We'll get an x position to start with, var xx equals phaser math between and then we can say something like between 0 and 100. And then we'll use that for the x position. And there you see it's randomly placing it between 0 and 100. But we want to place it on the entire screen. So we can use the game config width between 0 and the game config width. We'll do the same for yy using the config height. And there, now they're randomly placed on the stage. But what if I wanted to restrict that a little bit? Say, like, put a 10% margin around the whole game screen. We can do that by saying game config width times 0.9. And then it'll only give us 90% of the config width. For the starting number, we can use a config width times 0.1. So this will be somewhere between then 10% of the game's width and 90% of the game's width. So that will give us a 10% buffer on either side. Let's do the same for the height. Set the maximum height to 90% and set the minimum height to 10%. So as you see, the dots are staying away from the edges. They're coming close, but before they could have gone partly off the screen. Let's restrict it a little bit more. Between 25 and 75%. And you see now they're grouping more towards the center. And that's how you can put images in random positions in Phaser. If you'd like to learn more about Phaser, including my ebooks, Skillshare, and Udemy courses, and tons of Phaser freebies, go to phasergames.com or click the link below in the description, and don't forget to subscribe.